In the last video, we learned how to create the registration form model using the form control and form group classes. We learned that form control class is used for individual form elements and the form group class is used to represent the entire form. Now, apart from that, the form group class can also be used to group together different form controls. For example, city, state, and postal code can be represented as one form group called address. Let's understand this better with code. In app component HTML, I'm going to add three new fields. One for city, one for state, and one for postal code. All the three fields will be enclosed in a containing div tag. So right after the confirm password form control, I have added the three new fields. A containing div tag and three inputs. One for city, one for state, and one for postal code. Now let's update our form model. We need to add three new instances of the form control class. But like I mentioned, I want them to be grouped into an address field. To achieve grouping, we can use the form group class. Address is going to be a new form group. And within parentheses, we specify an object that takes in the three form controls. City, state, and postal code. Let's update the HTML to bind to the right control. So go back to app.component.html and make use of the form control name directive. City, state, and postal code. And to the enclosing div tag, we need to add the form group name directive assigning the address form group. So form group name is equal to address, which is the address form group. So now Angular treats the whole div tag as a form group and then maps the form controls to the form controls within the address form group. City, state, and postal code. Let me move the interpolation to the top of the form. And if you take a look at the browser, you can see the form values. City, state, and postal code are grouped into an object that is named as address. When building complex forms, managing the different areas of information is easier in smaller sections. In such scenarios, use a nested form group to break large forms into smaller and more manageable ones. Alright, in the next video, let's take a look at managing the form control and form group values.